Hello, I'm Roger Scholey, reporter with the San Diego Union for Tribune for 40 some years. And now I'm here with Peter Jensen, a, a longtime journalist and uh, sage of San Diego and many publications he wrote for. So we're looking back at the reader and his work for them in, in the 1990s. And he had a series of articles, including not just architecture, but also people in the business of making San Diego. So uh, what we want to talk about today is a story called Cliff May, inventor of the ranch house. So who was Cliff May and how did you meet him? Well, I was working at Sunset Magazine and uh, as a kid, I went to work there when I was barely 22 as a travel writer, mostly about, you know, the Sierra Nevada, backpacking, river running, that kind of thing. I didn't know a darn thing about architecture, to be honest. And the editor said, called me in and said, I have a very important assignment for you. And I thought, yes, here it comes, you know, the, the cover story or something. And he said, I want you to take the company station wagon and pick up Mr. Cliff May at the airport. He has his own plane. He's flying in and he's going to judge our Western Home Awards for us. They used to have this big Home Award program when Sunset was in its glory days back then. I said, and of course, you know, I of course just said, I was a little disappointed, but I said, no, of course, of course, sign me up. So for several days, I was Cliff May's chauffeur. And um, I knew that he designed Sunset Magazine's headquarters, which were a spectacular version of, of, a, of a ranch house on steroids, just beautifully finished. And you know, even by the time I went to work there in the early 70s, um, that we'd already had something like a million readers tour the building to see our test kitchens and gardens and all that kind of thing. It was an experience. So here's Cliff May, and I pick him up at the airport, and uh, he's the most imperious looking and acting man I've ever been in the presence of, despite the fact that he was about the size of a Bantam rooster, you know, <laughs> compared to, <laughs> I'm 6'8", and he's about 5'4", if I remember correctly. <laughs> and he had his wife, and, and they didn't say anything to me. I'm just, obviously, the chauffeur. But eventually, uh, I don't know, I worked up the courage to simply say, you know, Mr. May, uh, at the right time, you know, I, I have to tell you that I grew up in a ranch house in Orinda, California uh, in the 50s that my parents uh, had fixed up a few times. And, and your book, The Western Ranch House, was always on the coffee table, which was not just me being obsequious or something. I mean, it really was. That was their Bible. And all of a sudden he looked at me with different eyes, and, and then that's when the lecture began. He started explaining his concepts behind that evolution of, of how people live. And it's all, it was all about, Roger, it was all about indoor-outdoor living. Mm -hmm. You know, it was all about the West and the climate that we have out here. And you don't have to go down steps to get to the garden, and you don't separate and the garden's not a place you only go for three months of the year, or less, because the insects are either biting you, or it's too cold, or it's too hot, or anything else. Um, it seems to me that he got his inspiration from the Spanish and uh, Mexican periods of San Diego or Southern California, because if you go to Old Town today, you go to the, the Mr. Dio house, which is yeah. a the, like the original ranch house in San Diego, and everything, <laughs> when you say ranch house, that's what it was. It was a indoor-outdoor space, the ruins would open onto the, the courtyard, yeah. and uh, developers from Cliff May's uh, time forward found that as a uh, the archetypal housing type for San Diego and <clears throat> California in general. You know, in one of our other conversations, we talked about courtyard courtyards for multiple houses, mm -hmm. and almost like neighborhood courtyards. But, in, but a home in itself can be a courtyard house. And it just amazes me that, that Estadio wasn't a, wasn't a, uh, an inspiration for mm -hmm. modern houses that we see today. Mm -hmm. Why would we block, build a house that's two stories tall, that's a big block, and, and have these little side yards and these little backyards and this not so big front yard and everything else. And then we're all, we're inside the box, except for that one 20 foot patio in the back where we put a 
tiny pool or a hot tub or something like that. And a barbecue. And a barbecue. And so, yeah, Estudio is, I mean, I don't know about you, but I could, I could happily live in that house. I would, it would be a, a little grand for my needs, but to, and also to be able to go outdoors to get from room to room, what a dream that would be to be in touch with, with the weather. Um, there are a few houses that I reported in San Diego County that did something like that on purpose, where you'd build individual units. You know, the rage today is all these accessory dwelling units and things like that, where you're separate from the main house. But there are some architects who experimented along the lines of May and Estadio uh, with going outside to get to uh, the central kitchen living area. I think that the other thing that, that ruined it for May's initial brilliant concept was the television set. You know, I mean, the family began to gather around a TV set, which necessitated, oh, well, we need a family room. Mm -hmm. And we need a big couch and we need, you know, and we need, we're watching TV all year round. So we're not as outside as much as we used to. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm in my 70s now. And I, I remember growing up in a ranch house in uh, uh, the 50s uh, over the hill from Berkeley, California, in a suburban neighborhood. And we lived outside. I mean, my parents were cooking outside. The barbecue was possible, you know, was was popular. Um, Sunset Magazine was the Bible, you know. We were eating salads every night, which was rather unusual for parents from Wisconsin. Um, so I, I'm rambling a little bit here, but the ranch house that May came up with, that whole indoor-outdoor living, was so central to what San Diego became could be, should be, you know, would be in a lot of cases, but isn't so, in a lot of cases. I think we need a little ranch dressing around here, right? <laughs> we need a little ranch dressing. Thanks for watching, Peter. Thank you.